Looking to swap and trade tokens on the SUI network, but you don't know where to begin? Well, in this video, we will show you from step one exactly how to swap on the SUI network using the popular decentralized exchange known as Cetus, of which we will also go through some extra features that you can utilize to make the most out of this protocol. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose and use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at OldCryptogens for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles, and everything crypto related. Friends, let's dive straight into the video. Okay then everyone, so we're officially on the Cetus website, which is Cetus.zone. We've got the official X page, which is at Cetus Protocol. Give them a follow and turn on the notification bells to stay up to date with everything regarding their protocol. Now, some of you may remember that we actually covered a video on the Cetus Dex before when we were using the Aptos ecosystem. However, this time we are going to be using it for the SUI network, of which has become a thriving ecosystem in recent months. Now, many people have been wondering how to swap on the SUI network, what to do once they have got their SUI tokens. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that by using this very popular decentralized exchange like I've mentioned, known as Cetus. Here, we can use many features, not just swapping and trading. However, you can also utilize liquidity pools and staking and governance if you are interested in those sort of things. But most of you are actually going to be looking to swap your tokens. And therefore, this very simple guide will show you in a few steps. But to continue, what you're going to need to have is a SUI wallet. Assuming that you have a SUI wallet with SUI tokens, of course, you can continue and we can begin to swap our tokens. But for those who haven't got a SUI wallet and haven't got any SUI tokens but are looking to do so, we have a full step-by-step -step tutorial, which you can see right here came out seven months ago, how to get started on the SUI network. This will take you through every single step along the way by depositing SUI into your tokens, how to swap and how to utilize the SUI ecosystem. But in this video, we're going to be narrowing it down to the Cetus Decentralized Exchange. So from here, it's up to you. If you want to go and discover what the Cetus protocol is and read more about it, then of course, you can go through their website here and even check out their documentation of which provides you more details. Now, you can see that they've got some big backings behind them, such as OKX Ventures, KuCoin Ventures, Sui, Animoca Brands, Comma3. Guys, there are some actually huge names there and they are backed by major VCs. But for those who want to understand more, like I said, you can go and do your own research. But for us, we're very simply going to access the app. Now it's going to take us over to a new website, which is called app.cetus.zone. Once you come onto this website, you're going to have to accept and agree to the terms and conditions. If you do, you click continue. And then once you are here, you are going to be prompted to swap some tokens. Therefore, what is the first step? The first step is to very simply connect your SUI wallet. And as you can see, I've got a connect wallet button in the middle of the website or in the top right corner, you can see a connect button. So if I just click that connect button, it doesn't matter which one. You can utilize any of these wallets that are available. It doesn't have to be the SUI wallet. It can be a SUET. It can be an OKX wallet, a Martian, Stashed, Binance, or even a SUI MetaMask Snap. But in this video, we are going to be using our SUI wallet for this case because it makes sense. I'm going to click SUI wallet and straight away it has been connected. Now in the top right corner, if I go to my SUI wallet, from the get-go, you can see that I've got 35.64 SUI. I've also got 6,501 Turbos tokens and I've also got some other tokens here, but I don't exactly know what they are. I know what SUI soon is, but I don't know what blub is. It must have been airdropped to me. Nonetheless, many people are wondering how to swap and very simply, as you can see here on this main screen, which will be prompted with directly as soon as you get on here, is the Cetus swap. Now, once you are here, what do you want to do? The token up top is going to be the token you are swapping from. Therefore, because I've got mainly SUI in my wallet and practically that's all I have, I'm going to be swapping from SUI. And if you haven't got any other tokens, that's most likely what you're going to be swapping from too. So the bottom token, obviously, as you may guess, is going to be the token that you want to swap into. Therefore, if I click select a token, down below you will be able to see a variety of different tokens available to purchase on the Cetus exchange. And of course, it's entirely up to you which one you buy. Because we're already on the Cetus protocol, myself, I'm personally just going to choose the Cetus token to swap to. That is their native token and it is just a very simple tutorial. If you wanted to swap into USDC, if you wanted to swap into any token in the SUI ecosystem, you just simply click it. And from here, you just choose however much SUI that you want to swap 
swap or however many tokens that you want to swap from into the other token. So let's just say for the sake of the video, I swap six SUI into Cetus. I'm going to receive $10.23 worth of Cetus, which is going to equate to 71.21 tokens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very simply click swap. It's going to inform me about the slippage tolerance, the minimum received and the price impact. The price has been updated and therefore I can now update it and click confirm. The price is going up so I'm going to be receiving less. So once you do decide, approve the transaction and off you go. Transaction submitted. So there we can see we've got six SUI swapping for our tokens. Now straight away we can see that we've got Cetus tokens in our wallet. But basically, that is exactly how you swap. And if you just wanted to swap back, guys, it is so, so simple. You can click this little reverse button here or do it manually by going up the top and choosing the CETAS token. And then down below, if you wanted to sell into SUI, for example, all you would have to do is say, for example, I just wanted to sell 140 back this time. I'm going to get $20 worth. Confirm the swap. I'm going to click approve. And voila, that is very simply how you swap tokens back. So it's just as simple if you want to swap into tokens and you want to swap back to tokens. That is all you have to do. And it's just lightning speed. There is no waiting time on the SUI network. I honestly think this is going to be a thriving network of the bull run. I personally think that other protocols within the EVM ecosystem needs to integrate into the SUI ecosystem. And I think that from here, we will see a lot more adoption. But for now, I think that we are in a good place. Nonetheless, if we now go up into the trade section, you can also see that we've got some other features other than the simple swapping of which most of us are going to do. You have got limit order. So if you want to open a limit order on any token that is available, you can do so. So if you want to buy SUI at a rate of, I don't know, $1.70 and it expires in a, say a week or a month or a day or however long you want to do, you can choose it. So say for example, you believe that SUI is going to go down to a price of $1.50. Say for example, you wanted to allocate $150. You would enter $150 of USDC up top that you believe that you want to buy into SUI at a rate of $1.70. If it doesn't hit $1.70, this means that you would buy SUI at a discounted rate if it hits that price. Obviously, you'll have to put in your expiry date because it won't last forever, but that is very simply how you do a limit order. Me personally, I'm not going to do this. I just wanted to show you how to swap and it is very simple how to do a limit order, but this is going to be for people who are going to be either A, dollar cost averaging or B, looking for better entries by using the limit feature. However, on to the next feature, which I think is absolutely awesome. And we could see over on the Jupyter Exchange Decentralized Exchange Aggregator, just like we've shown you before. But on this version, all you have to do is very simply choose how much you want to invest into a token over a certain amount of time. So dollar cost averaging is now automated by Cetus. Therefore, if I wanted to allocate, I don't know, $100 and I wanted to invest every one hour and I wanted a total of, I don't know, 30 orders, it would mean that it would split up $100 between 30 orders over an investment of every one hour. So if you believe that SUI is going to go down or up and you just don't know, for example, you can dollar cost average and get an average sort of buying price this is a great investing strategy in my personal opinion i love dollar cost averaging whether or not you want to do it manually or use an automated feature such as cetus protocol that's entirely up to you but the option is here and that is what i absolutely love so if we move on if we go over to the earn section from here my friends you can now decide whether or not you want to utilize some other features utilizing your tokens in order to earn some passive income now, up the top, you can see that we've got a total of $54.1 million trading volume on the Cetus decks alone, which is fantastic. They've got a TVL of $177 million, which is absolutely fantastic. And this is just on the SUI network alone. Now, like I said before, they are on the Aptos network purely because they use the same coding language. However, what I wanted to show you here was the amazing selection of pools that you can check out in order to earn some passive income. But remember when participating in liquidity pools, there are many risks involved and this include obviously in permanent loss and many other things that you should bear in mind before participating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the pools, but I'm not going to show you how to do everything on this decentralized exchange. The main purpose was to show you how to swap, but seeming as many people like to participate in liquidity pools, I'm going to very simply show you how to get started. Therefore, to provide liquidity, we're going to need to have SUI and USDC for this liquidity pool. This pool has an amazing APR of 160.98% APR, which is going to provide us with delicious rewards. There's a TVL of $18.67 million, providing me with a bit more comfort. 
the last 24 hours we've seen just under 25 million dollars volume which is superb and then we've got $62,000 worth of fees made in the last 24 hours which is what is distributed back to the liquidity pool providers but remember there are so many risks associated with liquidity pools please bear in mind all the risks that are involved before participating however Obviously, we haven't got any USDC, so to get started, all we want to do is go to swap on the trade section. Now that we can see the USDC token is up top, which is the wormhole USDC, we want to go up top for SUI. We now want to swap, say, I don't know, five tokens into wormhole USDC. From here, once I click swap, if I confirm my swap, I'm now going to approve this transaction. And although it said it was rejected, I actually got the token swap. It must be just a glitch. However, going back over to the liquidity pools in the earn section, from here, what we can do is we can now scroll down and go to the SUI wormhole liquidity pool. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to very simply choose the amount of wormhole USDC I want to input. And let's just say I did five wormhole USDC. It's going to take another 2.25 SUI tokens. So I'm gonna click add liquidity. And very simply, this is exactly how to add liquidity. There is nothing stressful about it by depositing. It is just very simply understanding the risks and making sure that you are aware before you even click the deposit button. Now, we know that we've done it because if we go over to the liquidity button over here, we can see that we've got a pool active pool 0574723 with a pool of $8.85 with pending rewards and leverage of 2.49x. So make sure that you keep up to date with this, make sure that you're comfortable with it. You can withdraw any single time by going over here and you can either A, increase your pool allocation or B, go over to the remove tab and here you'll be able to remove all of your tokens. You just click remove and it will go directly back into your SUI wallet or whichever wallet you have connected and that will be the end of that. So my friends, now that you know how to use liquidity pools, the next feature in the earn section are the farms. So as you can see down below, there are a selection of three pools right now, which are HA SUI to SUI, V SUI to SUI, and AF SUI to SUI, none of which I own. But if this sort of thing is for you, there are some pretty solid farms here. For example, this top one, which has a staked TVL of $48.4 million with an APR of 10% distributing 7,700 SUI per day. Fantastic. So another place that you can earn some passive income if this is your thing. Like I said, I'm not going to get involved with everything on this protocol, but going over to the next stage, if you go over to Vault, here you can actually automate your liquidity to enjoy high yield with ease. Very simply, we just choose the pool. They are the exact same as the farms that we saw just a second ago. But say, for example, you choose the top one, you would just click deposit, and very simply, you would choose either HA, SUI, and SUI, HA, SUI only, or even SUI only. Entirely up to you, you would earn an APY of 11.42%, and you would get rewards in both the HA, SUI token and the SUI token. Guys, this is not probably going to be something that most of you are interested in. Most people usually do liquidity pools, swapping, and of course, sometimes maybe even use the farm if you are more of a degen. But all in all, most people are going to actually swap tokens. However, there are a couple of things that I just want to show you. And that is, of course, the X Cetus, which you can actually manage your Cetus tokens and convert them into X Cetus to also start earning. They have an APR of 30.19%. And at the moment, I have got Cetus tokens, but zero X Cetus tokens. Nonetheless, you actually can learn more about it here, where they will tell you everything as to why you would want to get X Cetus. Now, if you want to start earning the fees from the protocol, then very simply you would swap into Xcetus and all you would have to do is get Cetus tokens and choose how much you want to get and it would just be a one-to-one -one conversion. So here you can see on the left-hand side that the reward distribution will happen in just under four days. The estimated APR will be at 30% and therefore you will see how much yield you will get if you were to deposit. Now, that is Xcetus, but the last and final thing on this protocol that I'm going to show you is none other than a launchpad. And the launchpad is essentially a website of its own, as you can see, which is launch.cetus.zone. And although there are no actual token launches coming up right now, we can see that there have been successful ones and completed ones in the past which of course we have seen due to recent months as the sui ecosystem has started to thrive now 
In my personal opinion, I believe that we'll probably see some more in the future. As to when we are going to see more protocols come into this launch pad, I do not know. However, what we have to do is, of course, stay up to date within their X page, or if they have a Discord or whatever community pages they do have, stay up to date and you will be notified as to what is new and what is coming. But in a nutshell, my friends, we've explained what the CETUS protocol is. We've explained how to swap tokens. We've explained how to use the limit order and dollar cost average features. We've also shown you how to provide liquidity to earn some delicious passive income. We've also shown you the farms and vaults very briefly. We've also shown you the X CETUS token of which you can earn fees from the protocol. We've also shown you the launch pad and that is exactly how to utilize the CETUS protocol on the SUI network. Friends, we appreciate you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And we currently have a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading, and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies, and you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time DGENs.